This video was brought to you by Surfshark. Stick around for an exclusive offer just for Mouse 8 viewers. No handrails are shown throughout the entire factory. Very unsafe, would be shut down really quickly. The Clean Air Act of 1970 and the Clean Water Act of 1972 have both been neglected here, and comparing to a case where a haulage company did something similar, they were fined £262,000, which in dollars is around 300000 Putting your buying customers under the deception that some of their money that they spend on a fneed goes to charity and keeping the money for yourself is a very serious form of charity fraud. The average prison sentence for charity fraud is one month to ten years. So I will go on the higher end as this was pretty serious, so I'll give him eight years. And he will also be ordered to give back any money he stole, which would be a portion of his fneed sales. We can see here that he sold 5.2 million of needs, and we can see here he sold them for 398. So I estimated a portion of proceeds to be around a quarter, or one dollar per need, and that means the Wansler owes to charity 5.2 million dollars. And the PR people are lying. Who cares if a few trees are dying? Cutting down thousands of truffula trees without replanting new ones isn't just a bad business decision, as he inevitably ran out of them, but also breaches the Lacey Act as it is illegal lumber. In 2016, lumber liquidators got sentenced $7.8 million for trafficking ill-gotten lumber, so we'll give the Wansler a $5 million fine. And leave me alone! And don't let the boot hit you on the way out! The boot? <laughs> Lot of quick fire crimes committed here. First, he casually assaults and batteries on the barman before committing animal abuse on the snake by slamming his fangs through the bill. And to finish it all off, he bashes a massive hole through the wall. He would get six months for the assault, three years for the snake abuse, and a ten thousand dollar fine to fix the wall. Had the reputation for doing up high Like all the greats, El Macho was gone. El Macho enacts a violent robbery of a bank truck where he assaults the security team. This would result in a hefty 20 years in prison for the heist of the money and the truck itself, along with a $100,000 fine. Now it might be difficult to defend your truck from El Macho, but it is very easy to defend your personal data with today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN service that with just a click of a button can let you use the internet from more than 3200 servers in 100 different countries. To make my videos, I have to research the different movies that feature the different villains, and it was always quite difficult to find a streaming service that I could watch the movies from. For example, Despicable Me 2 does not feature on my Netflix, as I am from the UK. While Using Surfshark, I can open up the application and connect to the servers in New York. And now I can watch Despicable Me 2 on Netflix along with so many other movies that were not available to me before. If it appears in white on the search bar on Netflix, it's available in a different country. With just a Google search, you can find which country it is viewable at. And this works for other streaming services too HBO, Disney Plus, BBC iPlayer if you do not live in the UK, which for you movie lovers out there gives you access to hundreds of new movies. Another reason you should use Surfshark is it encrypts your data, which protects it from data 
theft, especially when you're doing stuff like using free Wi-Fi. If any of this interests you and you want to support the channel, I have an exclusive offer just for Mouse8 viewers. Down in the description, you can find a link to Surfshark, and using the code Mouse8 or going to surfshark.deals/mouse8, you can get 83% off and an extra three months of free VPN. That's surfshark.deals/mouse8. Now back to our macho. It took quite a while, but I counted 32 minions in this scene, and each kidnap would result in 5 years in prison for our macho. It was very difficult to find a charge that fit this crime, and the best fit I could find was poisoning, as it could be said he is injuring the minions by damaging their bodily functions and altering their looks against their will. And he did this en masse so he will get the death penalty. So, I will unleash them on the world! And if anyone, anyone tries to stop them, yow! The city gets eaten! I assume his end goal here is to take over the world, using the purple minions, and if this is the case, then he would be breaking the Nuremberg principles. By wagering war against the world, he would be committing crimes against peace by violating international treaties, and he would also be committing war crimes by wanton destruction of cities. Give him another death penalty. You know what? I'm not so convinced that he is winning. El Macho's actions here cause people of Drew's home to become endangered. We will give him child endangerment here. It's over, El Macho. Now where is Lucy? <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> One push of this button, and I send that rocket straight into the same volcano where I faked my death. Only this time is for real. In addition to the first degree attempted murder of Lucy, I will also give him two counts of animal cruelty to the shark he faked his death with, and this shark who both came along for the ride against their will. <laughs> his shop last night and uh, discovered this. It's empty, but we found traces of the PX41 serum in it. He's our man, so somehow, in spite of your incompetence, we solved this one. I was framed! You won't get away with it! <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not see you there. Or there. Oh, sorry, I. Please, I. First of all, you got no proof that I did that. Second, after I did do that, I put it back. We're well aware of that, Mr. Gru. That's why we brought you here.
Drew, still not having safety rails in his no longer evil lair, has come around as an incident happens because of this. There not being a safe way to exit the fruit barrel, which by the way is a health code violation, and also having no lid on the tank to stop things falling in is another safety violation. And thanks to these poor practices, this poor minion, in addition to having physical damage to himself by having his head shoved into a jar, which will have to be removed, will have to go through years of therapy to mentally recover. Gru will get negligence, health code violations, and OSHA violations too. And the minion can sue Gru for hundreds of thousands. This soul is copyrighted. Oh no. I must replace it. This soul is copyrighted. I must replace it. Replace it. Replace it. Replace it.